Oh, so fluffy. So fluffy, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Hi guys, hope you're doing okay. So something you may not know about me is that I am a massive movie buff. Some may even say a movie geek. And some may just say geek. But we don't like those people. But my favourite genre has to be horror movies. I just love the, how much like, fear you get from them. Ooh, that's good. I am aware it's a bit weird. So I'm gonna brush on past that. Tea? So today's video is gonna be talking about some of the moments in horror films that I think were particularly inspired. And I like to think that I would be doing the same thing in their position. So let's begin. If I was scared that my house was haunted, I would first of all, most definitely, film every single moment of my life. Especially since I don't seem to have any sort of job, social life, or sex life whatsoever. So I have got plenty of time on my hands. I would then, most definitely, on confirmation of the haunting, buy a Ouija board. Because everyone knows that Ouija boards just make everything better. And finally, if my wife started getting dragged out of bed by this ghost, and then gets like bite marks on her from the ghost, and then she says that she doesn't want to leave the house, I would most definitely get the fuck out of there, because clearly she's into some weird s &M stuff that I didn't sign up for. Speaking of ghosts, if I was being chased by someone in a ghost mask, I would most definitely run up the stairs where there's limited exits, instead of out the front door to safety. The reason for this being that I've got some weird closet door that seems to block my bedroom door from opening. Which some people may say is a design flaw in the house, but I'm not one of those people. I would also, in the middle of a killing spree, decide that that moment in time is the best time to lose my virginity in someone else's house. At a party. With a guy that I thought was trying to kill me a couple of days ago. Because I'm a romantic. If I was being chased by a guy with a massive chainsaw, I would choose that moment in time to fall down. Frequently. I mean, I haven't fallen down the entire movie, but now, now is the time that I choose to fall down. Because I'm a thinker. If my husband was having a bit of a bad day, you know, trying to kill me and saying something about being a dull boy, I would definitely run out into the snow, ditch my child, because he can clearly fend for himself, and then scream frequently, not at all giving away my location. That is a good plan. I like it. Well thought through. If I found a creepy book that said, do not read, all over it, I would most definitely read that book. And most importantly, read it out loud. I mean, it's not like I'm going to summon mummies, or zombies, or demons that possess me and my friends. I mean, that is so unlikely. And if I was going to run to a creepy wax village, I would definitely take Paris Hilton with me. Because chances are, they would rather kill her than me. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I do actually love horror films, even though they have the worst storylines and stupid ass characters. I still think they're awesome. And in the comments below, I would love to hear if you guys could figure out what movies I'm talking about during this video. And as always, in the description box below, there's all my social media if you want to follow me on any of those. And if you like this video, don't hesitate to give it a massive thumbs up. Thumbs up for me. And if you want to see more of my videos, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. So thank you guys for watching, I shall see you again soon. Bye!